Enemy discovered our presence in the city and will raise their patrols for the next few days. We need to be more cautious during the night. That was no bueno, but all right. So let's eat. But eat. Drink. Craft. Drink. I need some planks, I assume. Get yourself some sleep. Back to shoveling. You miserable. Tutorial. Economy summary. Planning your next steps? Remember, you can always check the economy summary for information about available buildings, crafting schemes, and items for the next usage. Most of the constructions can be upgraded to get access to the new crafting schemes and more efficient versions of the old ones. Investing in your upgrade can boost your economic capability immensely, so remember to plan them ahead. Oh, I can start growing vegetables. I might start doing that. Let's see, I have all of these things already, except for the comp composter. Um, yeah, actually, I have everything I need. Alright, let's go ahead and start making tools. Bars. Upgrade. I might not be able to do it anymore. We'll see how many materials I have left. I will have 14, but how many do I need? Okay. Not quite sure where to put this. See, this is the problem of actually having taken up all that space, because now I kind of wish I had space. I'm, I plan on putting water collectors here, so that I can't really combine that right, right in this region. Well, I guess we'll try squeezing in here. He's wounded, so I'll let him rest a little longer. Even though we've got building to do. have my furnace taken care of so I can see to my iron needs once I have materials, which I have a few. What are you stuck? Seriously game? Hold on. Did you just get yourself stuck in the wall then? You don't know how to get there. Thanks, game. I appreciate it. Got the rest of the day to spend with one guy who's stuck. I could load, but I think I think I, I think this is worth keeping in the footage just for the craziness of it. Could also dismantle the furnace. That's a thing. Oh, maybe I should low. What if he's stuck there tomorrow, too? I don't know where they spawn exactly. Scavenger unlocked. Need a pot that it oh the pot's still being made right now. Oh man, will I get stuck every time I go? Oh jeez, that's gonna be obnoxious. Yeah, 
I've got one shovel on it. Let me make a torch. Got my economy under and underway now. Get another rain collector, that might be good. But I pretty much have every, everything I need, except maybe spacing issues. I might just dismantle stuff around if I have extra. Uh, maybe some rat traps. I guess maybe a rat trap. Put it over here next to our pantry. I think that's a good place. I hope you are not there tomorrow, I might have to load an earlier save. <laughs> Sending characters to scout behind the enemy lines during the night provides you with crucial enemy, crucial information about the upcoming attack. First, scouting action for when it will happen, and second, how powerful it would be. Okay. Oh, scavenge, sleep in bed, sleep in bed, scout. You, her I want to take care of because she she is very important to my crafting just because she works so fast oh I, I, I don't mind do, doing another turn scouting next day take a shovel torch all right so these guys are actually on alert in Cheapside and marketplace only so I think today we'll spend it in the golden corner gonna have to sneak out our way out of the marketplace. I was hoping to use the shovel on this area. I don't know if there's anything to use the shovel over here. Uh, there might be. If there is, I think I need to use an axe. It's fine. Maybe the high city? Let's see. It's food. I got food. I guess I could use more water. Yeah, that's more. Yeah, let's do the golden corner. All right, first things first. I need to get out of here. As you can see, they are on the lookout for me. There's this, but we'll. Uh, I guess we're we'll going to do it now. I'm not sure I'll be back this way. I might unlock another exit. The guard outpost seems abandoned. No sound can be heard, and the windows are deadly dark. Is it already too late? Or maybe the soldiers are still there, hiding in shadows and awaiting relief. Entrance is blocked. The door, broken and ripped off the hinges, has been deliberately jammed up by a huge pile of furniture. It's going to take a long time to clear a path. You definitely need a shovel. After much time and effort, the passage is open, though your shovel is bent beyond further use. Some of the smaller side corridors are still blocked and you have no time to clear them. Still, the stairs leading to the rooftop are wide open. You're surrounded by dead Midlander soldiers and destroyed furniture. It seems Izmir has found the men from the bastion that Galvin mentioned. The Alipost roof seems deserted, but then you spot a slender figure in a worn-out row, hiding behind a broken table. That's Jacob, the old scribe serving the city guard. You hear him blubbering desperately as you approach, in broken sinners. Sentences, he recounts the massacre. It seems that the Izmirs tracked the soldiers to the outpost. They finally broke inside, plundering and killing, and blocked the exit as they left. What is Jacob doing here? Talk to him. Jacob has finally noticed your presence. I like that they even take the time to draw another picture for that. But he recoils, screaming in terror. You must stop this right now or he'll bring the Izmirs down on your back. Now, even though this is red, you can still activate it. You just won't get the favorable option. But in this case, even if it was green, no matter what you do, if you silence him with force, I'm telling you right now, you killed the guy. And again, this is not because I can't, like, I, yes, it, it might be a surprise for you. It's like, oh, that's cool. But I'm telling you because I'm trying to be helpful in case you're playing the game. Don't do that. We're going to calm him down. Not that it matters because ultimately we won't be able to hire him anyways and our character will get sad. You do what you can to calm him down, doing your best to make the old scribes understand you're not the enemy. It takes a while, but it works. Jacob stops screaming and finally seems to understand. Are you from the castle? Take me there, I beg you. Unfortunately, we are full. There's no place for cowards in the castle. 
You can't trust this man. He's already broken down and he'll only be a burden in the castle. It's harsh, but you must refuse. Even in the darkness, you see the last smoke of hope dying in his eyes. The spark that had only shown up a minute, a moment ago. The scribe has finally given up, and you can't do anything to change it. Oh, it didn't make me sad. I thought it did. Okay, never mind. Oh, I was not trying to do that. Hold on. Come back later. I'm trying to loot. I... That's why I wanted to move up here. I, I definitely want that ballista part. Let me think here. I have a use for that key, but unfortunately the enemy is on high alert, so we're not going to use that key right now, so I would just dump the key right here. But I will keep the ballista part on me, because I'm not sure I will be back this way. I might have another exit in mind. Not sure I'll make it. You can see here what their alert status is, and as I enter the next region, this is a nice quiet region. sign in the street tells you this is, or was, the apothecary store under the swan. One of the best in the city. Its price is so legendary you never even went inside before. The apothecary, run by an ancient little man called Memling, supposedly could supply a cure for anything barring death. His medicines would certainly be useful up in the castle had they survived the Izmir's plundering. The interior has been devastated, but there are scorched Izmir co corpses by the door, a sign they didn't catch old Memling by surprise. He must have defended himself with some special explosive mixture. The force of the blast was great enough to pulverize all the glass, windows, speakers, bottles, everything. The fire has burned out anything remotely flammable. Memling himself, however, paid the ultimate price. Stepping above Memling's body, thrown against the wall and unnaturally twisted, you wonder whether he might have kept his supplies. Maybe on the upper floor. But the Izmirs or other looters have been here. Anything of value is gone. Now you head downstairs into the basement. Another disappointment. Your progress is barred by a very solid locked door. No sign of a key. Alright, I need to come back with strength. Looks like they should have something there. Right, unfortunately, I already used up my shovel, or I'd have that as an exit. I think that's it. I think I'll take it, keep everything I have. So that's kind of tells me how close I am to- oh, shovel! Here we go!
You approach an old rotten door. Vaguely, you remember there should be a small square behind it, leading to a rocky path to the docks. It would be a very convenient shortcut for your nighttime ventures if the door wasn't blocked from the other side. So, trying to force through it with your weight will allow me to return to the base, but I will take damage. If I had an axe, I would not take any damage, but I don't have one, so... You step back and get ready to barge through the door. You look at the dark wood and take another step backwards, just in case. Then you rush forward and smash through the breaking timbers straight into the hole in the floor. The fall hurts, but soon you realize how lucky you are. It's another branch of the tunnel, coming from the castle. You discover not one, but two shortcuts. I'm injured, but that's okay. I'm going to drop off our stuff. And grab at least one more shipment of materials from what we've picked up here. Hopefully not getting caught in the process as I now immediately run counter to which the direction the guard is coming from. There's that red light right there. Should have brought the axe, that's fine. Um... Well, yeah, I'll take the water. I'll leave the torch. Okay, so what... Okay, that's what we're bringing. So by, by piling up my stuff, I get to pick my most important things to bring back each day. I think that's that's the key to success. This night was calm, but the enemy assault can come any day, and we must prepare for it. We should use this chance to help the soldiers at the Bastion. Uh, let's see here. We don't know the troop numbers. I can't see past this game saved icon. It's right in front of my text. Next battle in one day, so tomorrow. Okay. I'm gonna give them that. They need some food. Let's cancel right now. Slow things down. Alright, you need a drink. You need a drink. You need to eat and drink. I don't like that they're walking around like zombies. Come on, it's, it's not that bad, people. You need, a, you need a drink. Am I out of water now? Is that what that means? Alright. Take care of that in a second. Oh, yeah. Also, I had this. I saw this on the way over. I was like, I don't want to do that right now because uh, they're they're weak. They're, they're so weak they're just walking over here. Let's speed things up a little bit. Water Collector provides easy access to fresh water by collecting rainwater and morning dew into a container. Every time the Water Collector button turns green, it's a signal you have new water resources to collect. Slow things back down. She's very badly in need of water. That's why I try to slow things down. <laughs> Fortunately, I didn't slow it down. Like, not, I thought, maybe I didn't click it. I don't know. Whatever. She needs food now. No, don't eat. Not you. Jeez, game. When she's in the middle of something, she won't cancel it, so... She's good. Speed back up. Let's see here. Eat some more cloth to make more rain collectors. Uh, let's make another rat trap.
food acquisition. Rats are an easy, if nasty, meat source for your character. Simply place a bait, a piece of food or grains, and set a trap using the confirmation button. Then wait until a pest will run into it. Rat trap button will turn green when it does so. Okay, now that this is upgraded, I'll have the best, uh, best ratio of everything, so I'll just make it a little bit more clean, drinkable water. It costs me some firewood to do, which is why I don't want to do it all the time. Alright, let's go ahead and make some meals. Are sick or wounded, so you can rest a little bit. Maybe you'll get better. You can keep digging, that's what you'd like to do. See, we can craft some more stuff. Yep, but I, th I think my economy is a pretty much full swing at this point. So. I have no more rotten food. I used it all up. What do I need to make another? Is it like 15 materials? Yeah, it does take materials. I need tools. Okay, I can make another one if I just make the tools. I'm hoping this will not stop me from building another water collector just north of it. <laughs> Once I have enough surplus resources, the night before the siege, I would give my guys maximum food and water so that they will not have anything to slow them down in the battle. Alright, so let's see here. Scout. Oh, actually, you probably should sleep. Scout. Sleep in bed. Sleep on ground. Sleep in bed. I guess she'd be alright sleeping on the ground. Wait, I don't have anybody scavenging. I need someone to scavenge. Um, let's see here. I need someone with fighting ability. Hmm. 
Let's see here. They're still alert and looking for me. Fine. We'll leave the bandages because we're about to go into siege. But there's a reason why you might want to keep medicines in the field. Alright, so um, let's grab the medicine. Wait, so, so yeah, that's the right way. Okay, this is a merchant. She wants medical supplies. You give her medical supplies, she'll give food. You enter a small square between the tenement houses. One of them used to belong to a wealthy fabrics merchant, but he and his family were massacred at the city market during the invasion. Through the broken window, you see this house has been plundered. But then, a weak light emerges from the shadows in a side hallway. Someone's there. A chubby woman in a simple work dress emerges from the hallway, lighting her way with a candle. A friend, she whispers with relief and approaches you, smiling faintly. You know her. Maud owns a farm near the city. She quickly pulls you inside the hallway. What you see is at the end is a jaw drop is jaw dropping. It's a field hospital. What's going on? You couldn't leave them like this. She says she looks at the passion of patients, citizens and soldiers alike. They needed help and I know a thing or two. I've dealt with animals for years. But Maud says her hospital's desperate for supplies, food, medicine, bandages. Maybe there's something we could trade? Where are those people? Townsfolk, she answers, like you and me. But then you see a soldier in the corner and his body looks like a nightmare. How can one survive with such wounds? He's in bad shape, says Maud, following her look. They were ambushed by those barbarians. He's the only one who made it out alive from the outpost. Straight. So I could, I could, uh, although she says she needs food, this, she seems to be trading you food. Um, but I'm not gonna trade her anything right now. I just wanted to show that's why I'm bringing the medicine over here. Uh, so that way when I bring the trader, I can try to get the most goods for this and maybe even get like broken armor. But I think this is a bug that says I don't want to sell this item or maybe you have to do something for them, but I don't know what that means. Why, why you don't want to trade the item? I don't. Um, she's got some iron as well, but again, there's really nothing that she wants from me. I mean, I can offer her stuff and make a deal, but it's it wouldn't be beneficial to me right now. I'm gonna win leave. Try to break down the door. The door requires tremendous effort and all your strength. Still, just as you are almost exhausted, the door at last gives in. You, your eyes see Menling's treasury. All of the apothecary supplies are here. You don't even recognize most of the containers. Nonetheless, you quickly find a good amount of useful medicines and bandages. Then there's some stuff. We'll just leave it here for now.
torch on this. Already from afar, the stench and the buzzing of countless flies reveals the tar smoker's aisle has been witness to terrifying scenes before he's an enormous pile of corpses. What irony. Other citizens, who ordinarily avoided the filthy tar smokers with disdain, ended up trying to find safety here to no avail. In death, they all found equality. What's worse, the pile of the dead lies on the way to the smoldering peat and the precious tar it turns into. You search for a way to get around this terrible place, but you can't see any. If you are to go safely through these stacked corpses, you must clear them away with a torch. Okay, let's see. We'll leave this. Leave this. Take the water. Take the bandages. Take the cloth. Take the logs. Take the armor. Need materials. Alright, that looks good. Oh wait, I can take a little bit, few more logs. Okay. So this, yeah, that looks good. 